Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining idea in logic. So we define logic as the science and art of correct thinking and it is a branch of philosophy. Other thinkers do not consider it as a branch of philosophy but rather as an organon, an instrument or a tool in philosophizing. But in this video, I'll be explaining that it is a branch of philosophy. So we specifically discussed the idea or what an idea is for the philosopher plato an idea or he calls it form are the real things and they are metaphysical and spiritual entities and they exist in a world called of ideas which is outside this material universe but for aristotle ideas are the essences of things or the whatness of things or the quiddity of things that are found in individual tangible objects in this world of appearance or the physical world and the moment the intellect or reason grasps or knows the essences of individual things then it is known as the idea so by nature ideas are abstract they are universal they are not particular images or concepts of things so how do we know ideas or how do ideas come into being or how are they generated so according to Aristotle, since ideas are essences of things known by the mind or known by reason, so these essences are possessed by individual things. For example, the chair. So the chair has an essence called chairness. So what makes a chair a chair is the essence of the chair. So chairness or being a chair. And that chairness of being a chair is grasped or known by the mind or reason. The moment it's known, it's called an idea of the chair. And by nature, it's abstract. By nature, it's universal because it's devoid of individual or particular features or qualities or characteristics. So when our senses, the senses of the human beings, sight, vision, hearing, audition, smell, olfaction, touch, the tactile sense, and other senses grasp objects so what is produced is the phantasm still at the sensory level it's it's an image of the things we perceive and after that the intellect abstracts or removes the essence from that individual particular features that makes the the image individual and comes up with the abstract known as an idea or the essence of a thing known in the mind I'll give a concrete example so we go back to the chair so we have an image of a particular chair in the mind that's what we call phantasm so the phantasm is still individual it's still at the level of the sensory but the mind abstracts from that phantasm or that individual image and comes up with the idea the universal which is devoid of any individual characteristics so when I speak of chair I'm not referring to an individual chair but the universal chair the chair that I know that I understand that goes beyond color size shape and material so there are different chairs in reality and these different chairs they may vary in shape size color and material but they have the same essence and that's chairness so the moment that chairness that universal essence that all chairs share despite their differences once it's known, we call it idea. So that's what we call idea in logic, particularly in Aristotelian logic. Thank you for watching and listening. Please click like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.